The key point really for me that I want to reiterate is that sometimes we look at, we try, we get, sometimes we get kind of fixated with methods, okay, and looking for, um, if I can only get the right method, or if I can get the right book on prayer, if I can get the right guru, okay, then I'll be able to learn how to pray. The key thing is prayer is a relationship with God. And the key thing is perseverance, is to spend time to make a commitment to God in prayer, especially when you don't feel anything, but to keep to that commitment. Because what you will begin to experience is that you may not experience things during the prayer time, and your prayer itself may be quite dry, and nothing seems to be happening. But what you will begin to experience in your own life is certain changes or transformation will be happening within you in your life, and, and will, which is a fruit of the prayer in that regards. God is never outdone in generosity. If we're generous with God, God is more than generous with us. And the problems or the difficulties that keep us from praying quite often is our image, our, our, our idea of God. Because sometimes we've got false ideas of God. Uh, as you said earlier about, you know, God being like the, the judge or God being the one who's angry with us or if I give him this time, I might make him happy or stuff like that. Sometimes the, the, the big obstacle to praying is the image or the ideas we have of God okay and that's why prayer is so important because in prayer we meet God himself and he is the great iconoclast he breaks all images of him because then we begin to experience him in a new and different way and understand him in a new and different way but even with those experiences he won't let us settle with that he will always want us to move on further and further to experience him in a new and in a different way. To be present to him, not an experience of him. As Francis de Sales says, we must seek the God of consolations, not the consolations of God. So the focus is not on what we're experiencing or what we're feeling, but it's on being present to God, to be attentive to him. And that transforms and changes us. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.